Hello everybody, it's Uncle Matt and I'm here to read you another bedtime story. And today's bedtime story is from the book Munchworks 2, The Second Munch Treasury. And uh, this story is entitled Purple, Green and Yellow by Robert Munch and illustrated by Hélène Departeux. And this story was copyright in 1992. Here we go. Bridget went to her mother and said, I need some coloring markers. All my friends have coloring markers. They draw wonderful pictures. Mommy, I need some coloring markers. Oh no, said her mother. I've heard about those coloring markers. Kids draw on walls, they draw on the floor, they draw on themselves. You can't have any coloring markers. Well, said Bridget, there are these new coloring markers. They wash off with just water. I can, can't get into much trouble with coloring markers that wash off. Get me some of those. Well, said her mother, all right. So her mother went out and got Bridget 500 washable coloring markers. Bridget went up to her room and drew wonderful pictures. She drew lemons that were yellower than lemons and roses that were redder than roses and oranges that were oranger than oranges. Her mother was amazed. Wow, my kid is an artist. But after a week, Bridget got bored. She went to her mother and said, Mom, did I draw on the wall? No, said her mother. Did I draw on the floor? No, said her mother. Did I draw on myself? No, said her mother. Well, said Bridget, I didn't get into any trouble and I need some new coloring markers. All my friends have them. Mummy, there are coloring markers that smell. They have ones that smell like roses and lemons and oranges and even ones that smell like cow plops. Mum, they have coloring markers that smell like anything you want. Mum, I need those coloring markers. Her mother went out and got 500 coloring markers that smelled. Then Bridget went upstairs and she drew pictures. She, she drew lemons that smelled like lemons, and roses that smelled like roses, and oranges that smelled like oranges, and cow plops that smelled like cow plops. Her mother said, wow, my kid is an artist. But after a week, Bridget got bored. She said, mom, did I draw on the floor? No, said her mother. Did I draw on the walls? No, said her mother. Did I draw on myself? No, said her mother. Well, said Bridget, I need some new coloring markers. They're the best kind. All my friends have them. They are the super indelible, never come off till you're dead and maybe even coloring later markers. Mom, I need them. So her mother went out and got 500 super indelible, never come off till you're dead and maybe even later coloring markers. Bridget took them and drew pictures for three weeks. She drew lemons that looked better than lemons and roses that looked better than roses and oranges that looked better than oranges and sunsets that looked better than sunsets. Then she got bored. She said, I'm tired of drawing on the paper, but I'm not going to draw on the walls and I'm not going to draw on the floor and I'm not going to draw on myself, but everybody knows it's okay to color your fingernails. Even my mother colors her fingernails. So Bridget took a purple, super indelible, never come off to your dead and maybe even later coloring marker 
and she colored her thumbnail bright purple. And that was so pretty. She colored all her fingernails purple, black, and yellow. And that was so pretty, she colored her hands yellow, green, and red. And that was so pretty, she colored her face purple, green, yellow, and blue. And that was so pretty, she colored her belly button blue. And that was so pretty, she colored herself all sorts of colors until almost entirely all over. Then Bridget looked into the mirror and said, what have I done? My mother is going to kill me. So she ran down the bathroom, into the bathroom, and washed her hands for a half hour. Nothing came off. Her hands still looked like mixed up rainbows. Then she had a wonderful idea. She reached way down into the bottom of the coloring markers and got a special colored marker. It was the same color she was. She took that marker and colored herself all over until she was her regular color again. In fact, she looked even better than before, almost too good to be true. She went downstairs and her mother said, why Bridget, you look, you're looking really good today. Right, said Bridget. Then her mother said, it's time to wash your hands for dinner. But Bridget was afraid that the special color would not stick to the colors underneath. So she said, I already washed my hands. But her mother smelled her hands and said, ah, no soap. She took Bridget into the bathroom and washed her hands and face. All the special color came off and Bridget looked like mixed up rainbows. Oh no, said her mother. Bridget, did you color your hands with the coloring markers that wash off? No, said Bridget, no. Bridget, did you color your hands with the coloring markers that smell? No. Did you use the super indelible never come off to your dead and maybe even later coloring markers? Yes. Yikes, yelled her mother. She called the doctor and said, help, help, help. My daughter has colored herself with a super indelible never come off to your dead and maybe even later coloring markers. Oh dear, said the doctor. Sometimes they never come off. The doctor came over and gave Bridget a large orange pill. She said, take this pill, wait five minutes and take a bath. So Bridget took the pill, wait five minutes and jumped into the bathtub. Her mother stood outside the door and yelled, is it working? Is it working? Yes, said Bridget, everything is coming off. And Bridget was right, everything had come off. When Bridget walked out of the bathroom, she was invisible. Oh no, yelled her mother, you can't go to school if you're invisible. You can't go to university if you're invisible. You'll never get a job if you're invisible. Bridget, you've wrecked your life. Don't worry, said Bridget. She ran into her room, got the special colored marker and colored herself entirely all over until you couldn't tell the difference. In fact, she looked even better than before, almost too good to be true. But her mother said, Bridget, you can't go through life like that. You're just a picture. Everyone will know there is something wrong. No, they won't, said Bridget. Yes, they will, said her mother. No, they won't, said Bridget. I colored Daddy while he was taking a nap and you haven't noticed anything yet. Good heavens, yelled her mother. And she ran into the living room and looked at Daddy. He looked even better than before. Almost too good to be true. Doesn't he look great, asked Bridget. I couldn't even tell the difference, said her mother. Right, said Bridget, and neither will he. as long as he doesn't get wet. And that's all the time we have for Uncle Matt's bedtime story. I hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.